the cavalry! Welcome, Isis. Yes, welcome, Isis. Captain Marvel, I'm very glad to meet you at last. You have no idea how glad we are. Yes, thank you, Isis. Thank you very much. That goes double for me. I think I've learned something very important. If a man like Captain Marvel can accept help, I sure can. You're right, Don. That's a very important lesson. I'd like to add my thanks to theirs. No need. It was truly my pleasure. May I ask one more favor? Of course. Anything. Promise me that if you ever need me, any time, any place, you'll call me? I promise. And now, I must go. Farewell, all. Goodbye. Goodbye, Isis. Bye, Isis. A little soap and water, and you'll be new people. <laughs> I don't know if I want to have things go that far. I kind of like the old Susie. Well, I think I'm going to like the new Don better. <laughs> Don's figured out that a man that's too stiff to bend is liable to break when the pressure's on. No, and he's going to ask for help when he needs it. Is that right, Don? You bet. Starting now. I don't know how far I can hike with this old gimpy leg. How about a lift? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Let's get him inside. Yeah. We'll return after these messages. A poet named John Dunn said, no man is an island. What he meant was that we all need each other. There are a lot of things we can do by ourselves, and it's a good feeling when we can. But it's kind of foolish, and maybe even dangerous, to try to do something by ourselves when we don't know how. Asking for help or advice when we need it isn't a sign of weakness. It shows you're smart. See you next week.